so you know I was watching a video where they just the, the British and Ukrainian operation basically in Crimea which is Russia they just assassinated and killed a uh, 34 Russian soldiers and a Russian admiral right I think like one of the heads of the Navy in Russia so it would be equivalent if they killed like the uh, U.S. Joint Chief of Staff for the Navy or something like that, right? And so I was just thinking, like, this looks like a major escalation. So, and and where this this whole thing is going to spread. And I'm thinking to myself, after watching a couple of these videos, like, is this what you're willing to like? get into World War Three over, right? I, I said something before, right? America leaves the bussy and Nazis and Nazi bussy. And I'm proven right again. You know, I see all these people there in the United States, they like, you know, they voted for Joe Biden and Obama and the Democrats and the neocons and Israel and all the people that support all of this stuff, right? And I'm thinking to myself, when the nukes fly and they are going to, this is what y'all asked for. You wanted to die over this? You wanted to push this agenda and die over this? <laughs> really? Right? I mean, th it doesn't get more satanic than this. Right? Which tells you everything you need to know about anybody, right, who supports any of this, particularly these ninjas running around here, right? Totally disgusting, right? Let's play the rest of this. Hates the truth that their obsessive focus on a Ukrainian volunteer is simply allowing the light of the Ukrainian nation's honesty to shine brightly. Next week, the teeth of the Russian devils will gnash ever harder and their rabid mouths will foam in uncontrollable frenzy as the world will see a favorite Kremlin propagandist pay for their crimes. And this puppet of Putin is only the first. Russia's war criminal propagandist will all be hunted down and justice will be served as we in Ukraine are led on this mission by faith in God, liberty, and complete liberation. This is Sergeant Sarah Ashton Cirillo of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. And I'd like to thank the X social media platform for carrying this exclusive message from Kyiv. There has been much discussion recently related to my role within the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Before answering some of the questions put forward by Senator Vance of Ohio, I'd like to thank all those in the US who are supporting the Ukrainian people. Without Republicans and Democrats working together on behalf of Ukraine, our growing and unstoppable success on the battlefield and the inevitable victory it will bring over the Russian invaders would take significantly longer. America is once more showing why it's history's greatest republic and the world's lone superpower. And all of us in Ukraine are humbled by the support we're receiving from the American people. Take a moment in my role as spokesperson for the AFU's Territorial Defense Forces to state unequivocally that we in the TDF and across Ukraine believe journalists are heroes and have the right to report on Ukraine's war for liberation without interference. Free speech is the pillar of all democracy. The First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, along with the rest of that sacred document, is ordained by God. So when you burn up in World War III, this is what you, you dying for. This is what you die for, right? So this is a man 
who now a woman who was a reporter who then wound up working for a bunch of Nazis in Ukraine, right? A hundred billion in U.S. tax dollars, right? This is what it's going to, right? And then he, this, she, he, whatever, right? This is calls for assassinating journalists, right? Now, this is an American, right? Whatever this is, it's an American citizen, right? Calling for the assassination of journalists, regardless whether you like their opinion or what, what their nationality is, right? Nazi, some Nazi shit to say the least, right? I'm just, I mean, this is, this is what a hundred billion dollars in weapons, right? And cash. Just, you know, suck on that for a minute, right? And now you got this bussy spokesperson calling for the assassination of Russian people, and Russian journalists, right? America leads the bussy and Nazis, right? I said it once, I'll say it again, right? And I keep being proven right, unfortunately. You see, but the end result of that is what? Destruction. America leads to bussies, Nazis, and destruction. You see? Because the universe ain't dealing with none of this. You see? But you know what? L let's play the rest of this. <laughs> magazines or whatever, right? Rolling Stone. The hero of the people, right? Of democracy and all this crazy shit, right? Freedom. But then when you peel back a layer, this is what's going on, right? A bunch of cross-dressing, right? A bunch of men cross-dressing, a bunch of a, a transsexual a Nazi spokesperson. The Ukrainian army is a bunch of Nazis. Ukraine, th these people are Nazis, right? And the head, it, the head of it is a, a trans, uh, a cross-dressing Zion Nazi. You can't make this shit up. Like I don't even know what to say. I don't want to keep going. I don't want to belabor the point. But I mean. It goes back, I'm going to just say this in my end. It goes back to what I said before. America leads to Nazis and bussy or bussies and Nazis and destruction. But you know what? You got, I, I guess, you know, the question is, is it, was it all in the end? And it's going to come to an end, right? I'm going to say I told you so. But then, you know, all of the people that support this, right, that supported this, 
I would like to see the look on their face. You know what I mean? Like right at the right at the moment of realization, right? When they're getting burnt up. When they when you know what I'm saying? Like this is what you want your children to get burnt up over? This is what you want your house to get incinerated over? This shit? Really? Man, that's all I got.